IC814, the Kandahar hijack is an intense, gripping, and deeply compelling portrayal of one of the most harrowing episodes in recent Indian history. Directed by Anubhav Sinha and written by Adrian Levy and Trishant Srivastava, the series is a well-crafted dramatization of the 1999 hijacking of Indian Airlines Flight 814, an event that gripped the nation and had far-reaching geopolitical consequences. Plot and Execution the series opens with a chilling recreation of the hijacking itself, where five armed terrorists seize control of flight IC-814 shortly after it departs from Kathmandu, Nepal, bound for New Delhi. The tension is palpable from the start as the plane is redirected to Kandahar, Afghanistan, a region then under Taliban control. The narrative is tightly paced, with each episode peeling back layers of the complex situation, whether it's the terror inside the plane. What stands out about IC-814, the Kandahar hijack is how it balances the personal and political. The series does not shy away from showing the human side of the crisis, Captain Sharan, played by Vijay Verma, is portrayed as a man of courage and resilience, fighting to keep his passengers safe while dealing with the harrowing reality of the situation. Nisiruddin Shah and Pankaj Kapoor, portraying high-ranking government officials, embody the moral and ethical dilemmas faced by the Indian leadership during the crisis. Their performances convey the weight of their decisions, which would have lasting consequences on national and international levels. Performances, the ensemble cast is nothing short of stellar. Nisiruddin Shah, as Vinay Kaul, delivers a masterclass in subtlety, capturing the nuances of a government official caught between duty and personal conviction. Pankaj Kapoor, as Vijayban Singh, the Minister of External Affairs, brings gravitas and depth to his role, portraying a man burdened by the impossible choices he must make. Vijay Verma as Captain Sharan is the emotional core of the series. His portrayal of a pilot trying to maintain calm in the face of overwhelming danger is both poignant and powerful. Amrita Puri and Jya Mirza, as journalists covering the crisis, add layers of complexity to the story, showing how the media's role can be both vital and controversial in such situations. Direction and Writing Anubhav Sinha's direction is meticulous, capturing the claustrophobia of the hijacked plane and the high-stakes tension in the corridors of power with equal skill. The writing by Adrian Levy and Trishant Srivastava is sharp and insightful, offering viewers a detailed look at the multifaceted nature of the crisis. The series carefully reconstructs the events, drawing from extensive research, and provides a balanced narrative that avoids sensationalism. The show's creators also succeed in humanizing all aspects of the event. The hijackers are portrayed not as mere caricatures of evil but as men driven by ideology and desperation, making their actions all the more chilling. The hostages, on the other hand, are depicted with empathy, highlighting their resilience and courage in the face of unimaginable terror. Cinematography and production design, visually, IC814, the Kandahar hijack is a treat for fans of high-quality television drama. The cinematography captures the stark contrast between the confined space of the plane and the vast, desolate landscapes of Kandahar. The production design is authentic, transporting viewers back to the late 1990s, with meticulous attention to detail in everything from the cockpit of the plane to the offices of government officials. Conclusion, IC-814, The Kandahar Hijack is more than just a gripping thriller, it's a profound and thought-provoking series that delves into the darker aspects of human nature, politics, and the consequences of decisions made under extreme pressure. The show's combination of powerful performances, expert direction, and compelling writing makes it a standout in the genre of crime thrillers. For anyone interested in a deep, immersive, and emotional retelling.